bleepers, how the devil are you? Okay, so today is the day that we lift out the rest of the hoard from the hoard hole. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a description, there's a, a link in the description below of a Bronze Age hoard that I found with lots of spears and daggers and lovely things. It's gonna be a bit of a long intro here. Bear with me, bear with me before we get into the real content of the video of what's going to happen today. Firstly, there's a good chance there's nothing there. I'm just gonna put that out there because, um, it looks like firstly it's a founder's hoard. There's probably not a corpse there. The sand, I thought when it went down to that sand layer, thinking it might be a corpse, is actually typical of the area I'm in. What I thought was a clothing pin, which I thought perhaps was in the body or with the body, is actually a thing called an awl. You guys taught me that, so thank you very much. And then I went ahead and researched it and the archaeologists confirmed that. And the hoard itself is, there's a good chance that it's just been scattered by the plough and something, I remembered something. I remembered that my, my farmer about five years ago did a deep plough to about three or four foot. It was so deep. Um, so maybe I've pulled up the, the majority of it already. The weather is looking tenuous and the weather forecast is not good for the rest of the day. <laughs> A quick mention of my patrons. Thank you, thank you very much, patrons, for your support. Uh, the little, the, the couple of patrons that I do have, I really, really appreciate you. Um, and the other thing is, is loads and loads of people have been asking me about um, beginners metal detectors. There's, a, there's, I've put some links in the description below of some beginners metal detectors that I think are the really good ones. So go check them out. Okay, next point, is it treasure? Yes, it is treasure. I think it was West Country Clegg um, put a comment on one of my on, on the video where I found the hoard and he said it's not treasure because there's no gold or silver in there and slightly wrong there old chap uh, he had a friend who had a licking dog which wasn't classified as treasure I believe that that was Roman so the reason that this this is treasure is is because it's more than two items from prehistory and the archaeologists have confirmed that so there you go you learn something new all the time don't you I didn't know that either so fantastic next point I'll be quick this we're nearly done we're nearly done next point is um thank you for your support in the comments on that last video wow what an amazing community of responsible metal detectorists Everybody there said I did the right thing. Sometimes we get a really bad name as metal detectorists and everybody in those comments said we did, we, I did the right thing by stopping when those sig I was still getting signals, but I stopped and everyone said, well done for stopping. Do you know what? I didn't get one comment of someone going like, huh, yeah, I would have just dug it out, mate, and like, sod the archaeologist. I didn't get one person say that and I thought I would and I didn't. Everybody was super positive and proactive and said that I did the right thing. That is a really, really, really good and positive reflection of our hobby. We need more people to have that type of attitude. Okay, and on that last super positive note, let's go dig out a Bronze Age hoard. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. It reminds me of a, it's kind of like a TIE fighter. It's not, it's not what I've got in my mind though. It's not a metal detector, it's, um, it looks for magnet magnetic, I can't remember what he said, Richard said, sorry Richard if you're watching this, uh, but it's very, very efficient, if you will. Okay, so what I've done is I've done a massive square around this site and I think they're just checking over with this. Oh, and it's, uh, it's had some out as well, isn't it? Can you tell me what's going on on the screen, Richard? Yeah, of course. Right, Thank so you. what we've got there... But that is uh, 3,600 square metres. Mm -hmm. uh, I've done four grids, one, two, three, four, okay. each 30 by 30, and it's given us a picture of the, the, the uh, magnetic responses right, okay. in the field. Now, straight away, that looks pretty clean. Um, there's no obvious archaeological features there. Right, okay. However, Is that the... bad news? No, no, not at all, not at all. That gives us a context of, of the actual ho uh, hoard's find. Right, I've got you. So it's not in a settlement. I see, right. So it's outside of something. Oh, yep, yep. Uh, these black and white pieces we see here, they're high magnetic responses, so they're some sort of ferrous material. Right, or okay. Or something that's been subject to 
heat. So it's probably uh, agricultural iron. That's interesting. Mm. But the little waves and things we see on there are probably the geology. So is there anything over the actual site where I found the majority of the... That's in, in the centre there. Right, okay then. In the centre of that grid there, which tells us that the hoard has been buried somewhere fairly remote, away from settlement. Fascinating. If, if that was a settlement, you'd see, you know, big lines and... Yeah, I see, yeah. A little house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sort of thing. All right, a well. <laughs> yeah. All right then, okay, thank you. We're just packing the hoard, and I just wanted to show you, because you haven't seen everything yet, so I wanted to show you some of the bits and bobs that come up. It's only fair, because I only showed you a couple of bits as I was actually digging them. Um, so the archaeologists are packing these bits now. So this, uh, look at the markings on that. Monica, what do you think <gasps> of that? That's amazing, isn't it? Oh, look at that. I know. See, I love, I love an archaeologist's response oh, to, oh. <laughs> to a, a wonderful piece of history. Oh. <laughs> God, you must have been so excited finding this. Oh, shaking, yeah. I was absolutely shaking. So a lot of um, the axe heads came up broken, which tells me I think it's a founder's hoard. Yeah. Yeah, so, but, but some come up perfect. Um, so you have these bits of broken axe heads as well, these smaller parts. Uh, and then again, this, this just repeats itself throughout, um, right there. Sorry, go on. I'm just beginning to see how much else is there, or so I may nip up to Ashford. Oh, okay. Let's get some more packing because I didn't, we just had no idea what what, 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 Monica, was what do you think that is? Any ideas? Yeah, it's <laughs> the technical term. It's one of those things that sits on the. It, it's like a. Uh, it's not, oh, I know the term. It's a spearhead type thing. That, oh, okay. It's, there's a there's a there's a name for it that that particular type, and it's like that normally. Look at you, look at you. Fell stuff. Oh, stuff, okay then. Cool. Like All right then. Good. Oh, and there's another bit. There's another bits of broken bit. But there's a, yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm going to get out of your You're way. You're excited. I am. I've well, got, I've just the got... best thing to do, quite honestly, is <laughs> just to... There's another one there. Top of Let's one. get all these packed away. Yes. So I'm, I'm the bad I'm kid at Christmas. Here. Um, there's a spindle whirl in there that I found really? in context. Yeah, it's strange. I think it's in that one there. I don't know if it's the, of the date. Is it in there? Oh. Yeah, there you go. And there, I kept the bits of lead to keep them all in context for you. Look at the markings on, mm, hold on let me put that this one. Goes, that goes with that one. Oh my goodness. I know. Am I allowed to take photographs? Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Help yourself. Knock yourself out. Have fun. Well, it's, it's, it's all our history, you know? So just, it's not... Yeah, it's, but you, um, that I want to... That in particular. And you're going to get really excited about this. I have one. <laughs> Right, this is the one I want oh no, it's not that. It's another, another piece there. That's, oh, that's my favourite piece of all. So we have all of these pieces here. That's pretty much it. And I'm going to go help the guys. Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to take the tags that used to sit there. Monica's going to try and forget how to use her phone. Because <laughs> last night trying to use that's better. So I've been told I'm allowed to go for a little dig away from. Uh, where they're working, which is a huge area. Uh, but look, I just found this lovely little kind of silver button there. Isn't that beautiful? Obviously not related to the uh, hoard in any way, shape or form. That is just a wonderful, wonderful lavish button, if you will. How gorgeous. I think that's another bit of bronze. And I'm out of there, way out of their circumference now. Oh no. Right, I've got to have to quickly get these back and show these guys this. One sec. Oh, yeah, that's a nice old thimble there. That's a beautiful one, actually, and it's completely intact, which is very, very rare. Oh, that's wonderful, isn't it? Ha! Oh, there's another piece there as well. I'm getting slightly concerned with this because the guy's uh, some distance from me now. I'm guessing that the plough was... Um, hit the top of the hoard and knocked pieces everywhere. I'm guessing I don't want to do too much rubbing on that. I'll go give that to Monica now and she can put it with the rest. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's do this one carefully and gently together. Something in the clod here, of course. Oops, Daisy. Uh, oh, it's still there. Oh, I think it might be an old, could it be an old coin or an old button or something? Let's be as gentle as possible with this. Uh, 
Right, okay, it is. I think, is it bedrooms? Mm, no, no. <laughs> it's, uh, no, no, definitely not. I don't think, anyway. I'll get the guys to check it just in case. Ah! Bronze Age keyhole. No, 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 that joke's not gonna work. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that is, but I don't think it is a keyhole. Uh, on initial viewing, I thought it was, but this bit up here is tenuous, to say the least. No idea. It's an interesting looking piece of flint. It's napped, doesn't it? I'll have to go ask Fred about that. That's strange. Look, you see the little chips down here, this is what I mean. I'm probably wrong. I'm going to go ask him anyway. Okay, I'm with Fred. It could be. It could be there's been work from the side. Yeah, it looks like it's been it looks pressure chipped, float. It? Yeah. Yeah. I think they've tried to make something out of that. Should we yes, keep that as well? Very much so. Very much so. That's an artefact. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's something that's been worked. It's not all about the metal, is it, mate? Ah, no way. <laughs> yeah. See, they use whatever they could. Yeah. That's oh, brilliant. Okay. Fantastic. Hold of that. Okay, great. Now I know even less about pottery than I know about pieces of flint. But I was pretty spot on with that other piece of flint. I don't know, I've got no idea how to date pottery, but I'm just wondering, you know. Just wondering. Just trying to keep everything in, that I'm walking over in context for the archaeologists, because it could be a lot more relevant than what we think it is, you know. Um, they really do forensically pay attention to every little detail, which is brilliant, fantastic. So I'm going to keep this and show those guys. Ah, well you know it's the real deal when you're asked to fill in a form like this. Uh, your receipt for finding treasure. Okay, the guys are digging the what we think is the location. Um, I've been told that they're going to just take the topsoil off. I'm just going to scan over the top as they go, I think. Let's just see if there's anything there. Okay, this is scanned. Well, so far anyway. We're going to go down to about six or seven inches, we think. And nothing come up so far, which is disappointing. So I'm with Joe, who's my local flow. Hello, Joe. Help. Again, he's just explaining to me about this particular flanged axe head. So obviously on this side, we can see the really lovely decoration. Mm -hmm. And we can see decoration on both of the flanges. What is most interesting though is how clear the decoration is on this side, but on this side the axe is really taken a beating. Now this isn't likely to be plow damage and this is all corrosion. And what this is probably telling us about this axe is that for a long time in the ground it was this way up. Mm -hmm. So all the infiltration of water and various other things, possibly chemicals in the ground, have come down and have really encouraged the corrosion on them this side. Often with similar shaped axe or power stoves, which are a little bit later than this, we often find them blade to butt and arranged in uh, hordes together. So we have one like this, and then the one like this. Gotcha. And then we have the second one, which, is, which has some of the similar decoration along the flanges here we see. Yeah. But again, this might have been further down, or there's just something in the alloy that has protected it a little bit from the other ones, which does happen. You do get variations within the hoard itself. Okay. So Fred's just explaining to me about what he's looking for down here. So uh, when we say that we're looking for the, uh, we want, you know, as archaeologists, we're looking for the archaeologists, so we're looking for the context. Mm -hmm. So what we just do really is separate the stratigraphy, so separate the layers of of, uh, of history from the soil. So the thing, the stuff that's the same at the top here as it is at the bottom here, suggests it's all one layer, so it's all deposited at one time, you know, one period, right? Uh, and it's just been you know, recycled, as it were, you know, the plough or whatever else. So until we get a perceptible change in the stratigraphy, so change in the in the layer of uh, of soil, mm -hmm. we don't really get to a, a new era. We get to a new oh, stage. Yeah, yeah. So we're looking for really something that might give us an indication of a different layer. Okay. And that's how we're generally how our okay. just state. The same decoration as that bit. Yes. This is not an overly unrecent break. It was that bit. So that's a recent break we can see. But not from Chris, yeah, no, probably no, no, no. from Plough. Yeah. So it's started to repattern it again, but we can still see orange. So. Wow. So again, recent strike. Uh huh. I see, yeah. So That's fascinating. Okay, so thankfully these guys have dug in uh, and I have found signals, thank God for that. I was worried it was all in my mind for a second there. 
So they're all individually going to go down forensically and doing their art, and I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave them to it now and see what comes out. That's exciting. I'm getting slightly excited about this because I never, yeah. I never get to witness something like this. <laughs> but yeah, that we've just well, we found. We don't often get to do this. You know, some bits for us as well. Uh, Rich is getting one, one once a year nowadays. Is he? Yeah. Oh, he's not telling me about it. <laughs> I think you've got something teeny there, haven't you? That wouldn't have been the target, though. There's, there'd be something beneath that. So we can see the sand there that I, I ended up at. Pretty sure there's not a corpse here. I think I was just being over dramatic. Is that what you thought? I did because the, the problem was is because I don't. I went down to a strata of sand and then I found what I, I thought it was a body pin, but it wasn't. It was a all. I've learned since what that is. And I just not to mess around with it in any way, shape or form. Um, I just got in contact with Joe, obviously. It's interesting what you got. I love the finding bits like that, that Just little bits that have flaked off of things. Yeah. But saying that, Richard's just found bone. <laughs> Hopefully animal. Okay, in some weird twist of ironic fate, um, sorry guys, my, my, the Bronze Age target which we thought was there is actually a hammered coin, which actually on any other day would be a really nice find, but unfortunately today I thought it was something Bronze Age and it's not, it's a blooming hammered. That's the saddest I've ever been about digging up a hammered coin. <laughs> Alright, let's go over it again. Well, good old British weather has stopped play. Whoa, look, I mean, that was a big bit of lightning, and I think that was close. Uh, yeah, I'm going to follow the rest of them off the field, I think, because I'm going to get zapped for digging up a Bronze Age horde. Right, time to go. These are hailstones. Whoa, it hurts. Ah. <laughs> okay, I think we're done. But this is one of those situations that are going to go on for a long, long, long time. Okay, so although there's nothing that's come out in that dig, um, the archaeologists are very, very excited because of what I've found already and the context that brings to the area. They're not so interested in individual items. They're more interested in what's going on around them that gives them a bigger picture of history as a whole so whatever what's come up already has really really excited them i think there might be targets down there still i'm not sure but i'm not entirely sure that the mine lab the 800 is just punching quite deep enough to get them um, but it's very very kind of time um, you know they only have so much time to do so much work and um, those guys i was really i was quite disappointed because i wanted to see them find something and get get the opportunity whoa Mr. Saturation, yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, it, I wanted to see them, but they, again, they don't, they don't care about that. They really, really don't. They're just happy doing what they're doing. So it looks like the hoard has been scattered um, from the top. The founder's hoard has been hit and it's been scattered. That's why I'm finding bits of bronze so far away. So I'm going to be finding bits of that hoard on that site for uh, many, many years to come, which is really quite cool because it means I could just dedicate some time to it and just keep on pulling bits of this hoard out. I'm really excited about the, you know, the blade, the, the part of the sword blade that I found. I really, really want to find the whole part of the sword to that. So I'm going to dedicate a lot of time just hitting that area um, to see if I can find that, because that would be cool, wouldn't it? I've decided to waive my um, rights to the fee. Um, it's, it wouldn't be much anyway, but, and you know, I'm not really in the financial situation to do that, but, and you know, I'm not going to explain it. It's just, it's just something personal to me. That one is. Um, I know a lot of you can be saying you blooming idiot, but I think some of you will understand why I've gone about doing that. The hammered coin is bizarre. So you've got about ten items that are all clumped together. The rest have been hit by the plow and knocked. Right? The ten items are clumped together, and somehow, which are four thousand years old, and somehow a five hundred year old coin has made its way underneath that's really strange that is so strange 
Um, on my Patreon page, uh, a friend said that it could have been a burrowing animal, which is true, I guess. In, uh, in fact, I can't hard push to think of any other ways that a hammered coin would get under a 4,000 year old hoard. That is very, very strange indeed. But anyway, that's where we are. Um, this, is, this is certainly not a story that is finished. Um, it's going to keep on bringing finds and I'm going to keep on adding to this story. Anyway, thanks for coming on the adventure with me, my friends, and I shall see you in the next video.